Welcome to a short introductory video to explain My Brother in Arms, the book which covers Kurt Samuel Raja and Hans Klose and their service with the Wapen SS in World War II from Laurel T. Arms on a publishing. This hardback book details their entire service from pre First World War right through to the post war years. It comes with two introductions from former cameramen of Kurt, one being Manfred Thorne, the other one being Hans Baumann, both of the Larps and Daughter. A brief section on the pre Second World War era. Kurt com comes from Austria and Hans came from the Danzig area. At the age of 15, just prior to his 16th birthday, Kurt volunteers after the Austrian annexation to join the SS. He is placed in Dachau in the barracks there. As part of that, he becomes an anti-tank gunner. His formation then becomes part of SS Heinberg Danzig in the mid-1939. SS Heinberg Danzig advances to and takes part in the Polish campaign. And here we see dozens of rare images of SS Heinberg Danzig in, in various operations, both before, during and after the Polish campaign, all with the anti-tank formation. After the Polish campaign, that unit is then made part of the Tottenkopf Division, which was newly formed in October of 1939. Kurt returns to Dachau and with him Heinz goes as well. The two of them by this point are very good friends. Once again we see various images of Tottenkopf in its early stages of its formation and training. Heinz becomes a Waffenmeister or armourer and here we see lots of images of him within the Dachau training complex learning to become a Waffenmeister. As 1940 opens, the men get ready for what they envisage as their next campaign, that of moving west. Here we see the men advancing across the German border into Holland, Belgium and France. These images show Kurt taking a well-earned rest on top of one of the motorcycle combinations these photographs taken on the route to Arras. Arras leads on to Dunkirk, of course, and here we see Heinz taking a dip in the English Channel after um, Dunkirk is captured. Continue with his Waffenmeister training. Half of the company that they were in was moved in August of 1940 to the Lives and Daughter. We see him in the winter of 1940 into 41, conducting further training. In the early part of 1941, both Kurt and Heinz move into the Balkans and take part in that campaign. That's immediately followed by Operation Barbarossa. Again, both men advance into the Soviet Union. They're part of Army Group South. And here we see them in around the Tarbin Rog area. They return to France for the refit in 1942. As part of that, their formation is equipped with the Marder 3. A brief spell of home leave where Kurt goes home with Heinz and meets his future wife there, who is Heinz's sister. Start in 1943 and back into the Soviet Union, this time towards Kharkov. Here we see various images of the Marder 3, Kurt and Heinz, as they engage in that, that campaign. It was during that campaign that Kurt got badly wounded and had to be evacuated. During his recovery, he receives a promotion. Thankfully, he recovers and returns in time for the Kursk campaign. Here, on the 12th of July, we see Kurt, with the Russian submachine gun, um, taking part in defensive actions on the morning of the 12th of July. It was later that day that he conducted the actions which resulted in him being awarded the Knight's Cross. Here we see the recommendation and subsequent award ceremony, which took part in Austria as they, the Lives and Daughter advanced on their way through to Italy from Russia.
various congratulatory letters and telegrams from all of the local dignitaries, including the mayor, different organisations, the local goal lighter. And a very nice letter from Heinz Guderian congratulating Kurt on the award of the Knight Cross. A brief spell in Italy, where they helped disarm the Italian troops in the second half of 1943. Before then, at, towards the end of 1943, having to return back to the Soviet Union. It was there that Kurt received a field promotion to SS Untersturmfuhrer. But it was also there that Heinz was engaged in, a, in an action at the start of in 1944, where he was subsequently killed. At this stage, you can see that Kurt has moved to Piper's Panzer Regiment serving with the 7th Company. You can see various images from the early part of 1944 whilst Kurt is with the 7th Company. Moving to the Belgian region in the spring of 1944, they are gearing up for the expected Allied invasion and getting re-equipped with Panzer IVs. You can see various images of Kurt's crew as they get to know the Panzer IV and prepare different defences. Just prior to that invasion, Kurt gets some home leave and decides to return back up to the Danzig area and visit um, his fiancée. You see Werner Wolf taking, um, taking part in spraying the tanks in preparation for getting the camouflage guard, showing his men how it's done. They then of course take part in the Normandy campaign. Here we see Kurt and his crew heavily camouflaged in the Singlay forest area. They're part of the forces that managed to escape, but for Kurt he had to undergo an operation in the autumn of 1944. By the time he is fit, he misses out on the Battle of the Bulge, and by the time he is fit, it is the end of January 1945. Here, he's, here we see him with his family in his hometown. On his way to return to Lichterfelder, he goes with his fiancée back up to the Danzig area and on the return down to Germany they get intercepted by the field police and Kurt finds himself placed with 23rd SS Division Nederland under Jürgen Wagner. He conducts his final actions with Nederland between February and June 1945. Kurt himself, with the small remaining men, do not actually surrender till mid-June 1945. The book finishes off with Various images of behind the lines, um, Kurt's sister-in-law, who is a Red Cross nurse, Kurt's brother, who is an RID, and then the Geberjäger, and then just various aspects of Heinz's life as well, up to the point where he was killed. In the post-war period, we finish off with some various images of how Kurt built his life after the surrender in the post-war life, first in Germany, then on back into his hometown. I hope this gives you a good idea of what the book contains. We look forward to hearing from you and placing your order. Thank you.